Seems like the two buses aren't very happy with each other. Okay. Over here you'll see the new uniform for Ancas. It's got the little handles on the side that you can hold on to if you want to. Over here the enforcer stopped this lady. I asked her personally what happened. She said she was using her cell phone and the enforcer said he has to issue a ticket for ADA, Anti-Distracted Driving Act. That's 5,000 pesos. It's a very heavy penalty. Uh, she told me that she was lost and she was trying to check a map to see where she can go. From what I've seen, most enforcers are actually hesitant to issue a ticket for ADA because it's so expensive. So I'm now on the U-turn across from Robinson's Galleria. This is where I previously made my video about MMDA anti-jaywalking. And uh, I pointed out all the signs that say no jaywalking, don't cross here, 500 peso penalty. I pointed out all the pedestrian overpasses, footbridges that are available and uh, how a lot of people end up in the road here is they're actually crossing over there where there's a huge sign that says do not cross here and then they end up walking all the way along here and this is where they finally get caught by the MMDA in fact here's one gentleman now I think this uh, MMDA will be apprehending him so they'll be issuing a ticket to this gentleman here they're trying to crack down on jaywalking because there's been so many accidents lately where people have been walking on EDSA and they've been hit by buses or motorcycles or cars it's very dangerous and uh, they want to stop it over here you'll see an MMDA help this man. Obviously he's a PWD, so he can't use the footbridge. Completely fair, completely reasonable that he crosses here with the help of the MMDA just to make sure it's safe, not just for him, but also for drivers. I don't know how this lady got here, but she's now in the middle of EDSA. And you'll see they stop one more lady over here. They'll be issuing a ticket for jaywalking. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of people are coming from over in that direction. Sometimes they even climb through the fences or they push barriers out of the way. And uh, this is where they end up being stopped by MMDA. So again, they guide the person over to the anti-jaywalking field office. Today they are asking for ID. They're writing out the ticket, 500 peso or 8 hours community service. There's a couple of girls crossing here with their luggage. I think they're about to be apprehended for jaywalking. Right now the ladies are complaining that it's the bus driver's fault for unloading them where they have to walk across the road. And this is the problem with buses unloading people wherever they want. Not only does the bus get a ticket for illegal loading unloading, but the commuters end up with tickets for jaywalking. That's why the buses really have to stick to the proper bus stops, otherwise everyone pays a price for this. Aside from traffic and everything else, the possibility of accidents, it's also extra tickets like this. What amazes me is how vehicles like this Innova manage to drive along EDSA every day. No conduction sticker, no plate, front and back. But if you're coding, they're going to see you from 5 kilometers away. This car has stopped in the bus lane. It's actually been here for a while now. The enforcer is telling him to move forward because he's obstructing the lane. If he refuses, he should just issue a ticket for obstruction. And this vehicle here has just stopped and parked in EDSA. He's got his hazard lights on. Apparently he's waiting for someone. It is a no loading, unloading, no stopping area. But I'm not sure if the enforcer is going to issue a ticket or just let him off with a warning. They just stopped this P2P bus here because allegedly it's been involved in an accident. We're asking now about the damage. So according to this enforcer here, the bus collided with another bus but then didn't stop. So he chased him on his motorcycle and he stopped him here. And here's the other bus that was involved. The thing is what you'll notice on pretty much all buses is that all of the corners are scratched and dented. The wing mirrors are broken because they frequently have these little scrapes with other buses. Seems like the two buses aren't very happy with each other, but the MMDA aren't going to allow them to fight. They're calling the police if needs be. They've now collected the driver's license from both driver and they'll take them to MMDA traffic bureau for a proper investigation. If you haven't seen these premium point-to-point -point buses before, you should check my video because they're very nice. It's a double decker, so you've got seats downstairs, seats upstairs, aircon of course, it's got entertainment systems like a touch screen just like you're buying on an aeroplane. It's a really nice ride. There's a QC DPOS enforcer on Ed, so he just stopped this taxi. I'm wondering what the reason is. The taxi driver allegedly went for a red light, refused to stop for the enforcer. I figured he had to be chasing someone because there's no reason why a QC DPOS would be here on Edsa. So now on North Edsa, just near Balintawak, I've seen a lot of tricycles, so I asked the enforcers here, isn't there a tricycle ban on Edsa? And they said yes. Uh, so let's see if they're now going to be apprehended. I'm not anti-tricycle, I just see the problems that they cause on EDSA and if there's a rule that they're not allowed on EDSA, then it should be enforced. Otherwise, remove the rule. Here you go, there's a tricycle coming now. Of course, the problem with tricycles is a lot of them don't have a license. 
there you go he wasn't even going to stop because they've become so used to being able to drive along edsa without any apprehension fortunately this driver does have a license so they'll be able to issue a ticket and send him on his way i think tricycle ban is 500 peso this motorcycle rider here just counter flown all the way along edsa and that's a problem a lot of the enforcers oh look here's another tricycle as well um a lot of the enforcers in the north sector of edsa they're just not here uh, i've noticed this so many times i've reported it so many times if you look at the rest of the edsa there's so many enforcers but when you come to the north district they're missing they're just not at their post in fact talking about attendance this man here from mmda is from the inspectorate he drives around and actually makes sure everyone is at their positions and if they're not they're getting big trouble you might have seen this since general danny lim took over at mmda he's removed something like 800 enforcers or something like that a lot of enforcers so they are trying to weed out those who aren't doing their jobs they're just stopping this one over here now again tricycle ban not allowed on edsa here you'll see another tricycle one of the enforcers has just stopped this truck now that will be truck ban on edsa I've seen a lot of people jaywalking as well they run across these three lanes cross through here and then continue on the other side uh, there's no anti-jaywalking enforcers here like i mentioned in my previous video traffic enforcers can't apprehend jaywalkers and anti-jaywalking enforcers can't apprehend vehicles another tricycle over here it looks like this enforcer will stop them again no license plate of course so unfortunately on this one the driver said he doesn't have a license and the vehicle isn't registered and he doesn't have any paperwork in fact for the vehicle so the only option that leaves them is to impound the vehicle but sometimes it can be hard to get a tow truck so let's see how this actually plays out they're stopping one more tricycle over here telling him to pull over to the side again no plate on the back and maybe no license let's see so for this one the driver said he doesn't have a license and the vehicle was last registered in 2017 the enforcer is going to issue a ticket for expired registration and allowing an unlicensed driver to drive the vehicle and then let it go apparently the driver is not the owner the enforcer is just about to go in and stop this other tricycle this one has a temporary plate on the back so perhaps all his paperwork and license is in order look at this motorcycle rider no helmet on heads up plus a little child how did that get past the enforcers with no one stopping it on the u-turn here comes a couple more tricycles really it's like normal business but of course there's so many people complaining about tricycles nearly causing accidents adding to traffic and things like that I don't know why nobody sees them over here they saw one more tricycle so the problem with this one last registered 2017 and the driver doesn't have a license he only has a student permit which doesn't allow him to drive the vehicle by himself and it's not allowed on edsa anyway so for this one they're going to issue a ticket with three violations tricycle ban on edsa unregistered since the document says last registered 2017 and allowing an unlicensed driver to drive the vehicle because again he, he claims it's not his vehicle he's just the driver this is a troy nori uh, 50cc motorcycle no helmet no problem it's a the tricycle to be impounded is still over there even though the tow truck's been here for quite a while the driver keeps trying to negotiate the release but the problem is no driver's license no or no cr no plate what happens if he sideswipes a car do you think he's going to stop and pay for the damages or is it going to be like what we see in my operation videos every day where they just run away even from it law enforcers they run away so as much as i feel bad for him because his vehicle is being impounded it's for the good of everyone else i think there's a rule about heavy equipment on edsa but i'm not sure i just spotted a wild tiger Rawr. Sorry about the focus, but you'll see a motorcycle there counter blowing on EDSA and there's a lady on the back, no helmet. Yeah. So it's been a while, but the tow crew just got the tricycle on the back of the tow truck. There's a new guy on the scene now, this big guy over here keeps trying to give money to either the enforcers or the towing crew. 